Okay, so my face is already done. Taking the taking back to Brazil palette from BH, taking that lighter orange shade, and I'm just putting it all over my lid, not really doing anything specific, just kind of putting it down as a base color. I'm not trying to build it up, make it opaque, and all that. Just so that later on I don't have to build up as much, I guess. I don't know. It was just easier for me to do it like this instead of just doing the liner first. Anyways, now I'm taking the NYX matte liner, I think it is, and drawing out the butterfly wing, and I'm starting off with like just a regular eyeliner wing, and then making it, taking it from the inner corner of my like crease, but kind of making it higher because I put it eyes, and then connecting it to the outer corner, and just following the shape of my eye kind of. And staying out of frame like I always do. And then now to the connected. So I create like an actual regular eyeliner wing. And then I just start drawing the little like indents, I guess, as the actual butterfly wing. I think I added three on this one. I'm not too sure. And I really just start off by drawing a straight outline from the curved crease part and then, blend, like, not blending it, connecting it with the other one and making it kind of curved. So, like, an arc, I guess. I don't know. I mean, you can see what I'm doing. So, I feel like I don't have to explain too much, but... And then I'm just kind of thickening up the lines. And just making sure it's okay with me. And since I'm a perfectionist, it's I work too hard on everything. And then, once I decide it looks okay, I'm taking the next white eyeliner and drawing the little dots on the black parts. And then I'm taking a really tiny brush and a kind of darker orange and putting it in the little arcs to, you know, build it more color. I'm trying to focus it more in the, like, rounded part of the arc, not so much the middle of my eye. Because I'm adding a different color there and it's going to be lighter. Just taking a yellow shade and packing it on the like center of my eye and the wing, like it would be the middle part, I guess. And I just keep kind of packing and blending until it's where I'm happy with it. And then just adding the same darker orange and blending it with the yellow on my lower lash line. And then taking Fenty's Trophy Wife and putting it on the parts of my eyelid that are yellow, just some nice little glitter. 
and then my inner corner and brow bone or under my brow arch whatever using it dry not wet so I didn't want it to be like super super glitter I just wanted like a little hint except on the inner corner that parts no I think I used a dry stain I can't add too much of this otherwise it adds like a yellow cast on my skin because I'm so fair I'm finally adding mascara so you don't see my white lashes. And I think this is the NYX Worth the Hype mascara. Either that or Lash Paradise. Those are like the only two I use. And then I'm taking this BH Cosmetics Highlighting Palette. It's called the Black Light Highlighting Palette. And I'm taking the shade Electra, I think it's called. It's the more yellowy toned one. It's up in the corner. Yes, Electra. And I'm putting it on my nose. My cheekbones, cupid's bow, all of that. And once I put it on dry, I spray my face and then put it on wet, but I cut that part out because it was long. And I feel like it was kind of unnecessary to just keep it in. And then I'm taking Baby That Beauty in the liquid lipstick in the shade Bonfire Babe. Putting that on. And I actually stayed in frame for the most part this time. Once I have this all applied and it's kind of dried down, I'm taking Baby Bat Beauty Liquid Lipstick also in the shade, shade Citron and kind of putting that in the middle and patting it out. And now I'm just applying some lashes. I think these are not your school parts and cosmic lashes. And after that, the, ah, oh my God. after that, the look is done. And thank you for watching, and please subscribe and watch any other videos.